Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Chief Mathis, City Attorney, Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Captain Two, Public Information Officer. Uh, today we're gonna recognize uh, multiple members that were involved in a cardiac arrest save of a 41-year-old man. Now placing that 911 call was a bystander rescuer, Mr. James Handel. He was tried to make it here this morning. Unfortunately, he got caught and wasn't able to get here in time. But he carefully followed instructions that were prov and he started to provide hands-only CPR while our members were able to rush to the scene. Now answering his 911 call was firefighter paramedic Hugo Tadillo at Metro Fire Communications. So Hugo took control of the caller. He calmly and clearly provided life-saving instructions. At this point, we'd like to invite firefighter Tadillo to the podium, please. Now in route to the incident there with lights and sirens were our skilled members from Engine 39 and Rescue 39. So we'd like to invite up Captain Sean Gath, Engineer Scott Ross, Firefighter Paramedic Garrett Roach, Firefighter Khalil Sanko, and also Firefighter Paramedic Armante Bartolome. Also present at the incident was Firefighter Nicholas Miller, but unable to be here today. But the incident took place on March 30th of this year. It was a typical sunny morning around 7.30. This uh, 41-year-old man was walking along the street in Van Nuys. He suddenly collapsed, actually began shaking for a short time period and went into cardiac arrest. So fortunately, yeah, that collapse was witnessed and there was a quick call to 911 and that individual boldly took immediate action, started those chest compressions. Again, our paramedic uh, at Metro Dispatch answering that call provided him exactly what he needed to do for us to have a successful outcome. As uh, 39s arrived on scene, they jumped into action. They moved the patient out of the street, brought him up to the, to the curbside. They provided advanced life support, uh, actually shocked the patient, and that individual was conscious uh, before they had left the scene and started to transport him to the appropriate medical facility of a STEMI receiving center. But this incident also highlights our tier dispatch center, or dispatch system, as Dr. Eckstein was mentioning earlier. And the reason is because the call processing time was only 48 seconds. And as I mentioned, when he went down, he actually was shaking for a moment. So when the 911 caller called Metro, it came in as a potential seizure call. When you go back and look at our old system, it would take two and a half, maybe three minutes to process a seizure incident type because there was an abundance of mandatory questions that had to be uh, asked and go through. And so and when you're dealing with a cardiac arrest, we all know that seconds count, let alone minutes. So going from 48 seconds uh, down to that time frame compared to two and a half to three minutes is rather significant. So this was a great example of the chain of survival by all members that were involved along with our tiered dispatch system that all worked together to save a fairly young man's life of 41 years old. So at this point, we'd like to read one of the certificates. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative and expedient assistance, which directly resulted in saving a man's life during a cardiac arrest emergency on March 30th, the 14,000 block of Bessemer Street in Van Nuys, the Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the city of Los Angeles, presented this 21st day of May 2019, Ralph Terrazas. I think this uh, just highlights uh, another example of what our members do every day to make a difference. Um, and because of their efforts, because of the expertise of a dispatcher who recognized uh, this, uh, this call for what it was and for the first responders that, re that responded, um, there's another person that's walking around in LA today that may, uh, may not have um, had an opportunity to live past that day. So. Uh, my congratulations to all of you. Thank you for doing a great job. Appreciate it.
Can I ask Assistant Chief uh, Calvillo to come to the, the podium to um, offer some remarks? Good morning, uh, Assistant Chief uh, Carlos Calvillo, Division uh, Metro Fire Communications Division. Um, just want to say thank you for being part of this uh, opportunity to recognize these members and recognizing that Metro Fire Communication is part of uh, emergency operations and all that we do in supporting uh, the citizens of Los Angeles. What was most notable to me listening to this call um, that uh, Firefighter Tadeo did a great job on was it wasn't two seconds later he was on another very difficult call uh, with somebody who was difficult to communicate with. And the dispatchers, uh, the call takers at MFC average over 105 calls a day that they take and uh, he was just right, right back at it doing another difficult call. So uh, thank you very much for an opportunity for us to recognize him and these other members from 39s, who I'm also an alumni of. Thanks, Jason.